A barbecue happy place is where you go to grill, chill, and get away from it all. In this episode, we're hanging out with Mohammed. Hi, my name is Mohammed Gafour. And his daughter, Lila. Hi, I'm Lila Gafour, and this is our barbecue happy place located in Lumberg, New York, in the United States of America. Let's check their barbecue happy place out. All right, let me take you on a tour of the barbecue happy place. I'm going to start back here. This is where we keep our fuel. I have, I have wood for the brio, I have the big logs, I have smaller logs I've chopped up for kindling. And then in here is where I keep the charcoal. Very this is actually a little bit of a tip. This is a pet food container <laughs> and it's it's actually weather tight. I keep it outside all the time yes. and I've never had water, rain, snow. I keep the charcoal out all the time and that's, that's where I keep my charcoal. I need to refill. <laughs> Let me take you over here. Um, this is my Ooh. brio fire pit. And you'll see, oh, my um, you know, it has, it's, it's a little, as you can tell, I've been using it. On the outside, it has a nice sear plate rim. So if you're doing burgers, you can, you can put the burgers on the, Ooh. you know, on the, on the Brio, on the, right on the sear plate. And it sears them nice. It also has a nice grate. So when you can, Love you can that. raise and lower the grate if you want to get different, different temperatures of food. So now, now I'm going to walk you over to the actual, this is so nice. proper. And we'll start over here. And this you see this is a you know, typical typical sink moving down further these are my drawers Love the and here. you see up top here I have all my I have all my grill tools I have, I have brushes I have gloves um, down here I got cutting boards more gloves and then down here I actually have a bunch of these white silicone mats and over here this is the this is my Napoleon um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with it it's a Canadian <laughs> brand. So this is a double grill, and on this side is a double is a double sear burner. You can you can sear nice steaks grill. on here. It also has a warming Amazing. burner. So let's say I you know I'm done cooking with one thing, but I'm not quite done. I can you know I can put food in here, turn on the warming How burner, wide is and that? keep that it nice and warm. It's built in. Look at there's like degrees. there's no oh, like yeah. bottle yeah. to it. Four burners. Um, you know, it has a wood chip burner. It's got a wood it chip burner. It has a rotisserie. Burner. I actually what? never use the rotisserie. Cool. Yeah, that's one thing I have to use. Mohammed, he um, never used you know, the rotisserie. It's got lights on the inside of both. So you turn the lights so you can grill, you can grill at night. That's important. Make sure you have adequate lighting to grill at night. What? That is cool. Okay. Is that an add-on? I want here, them to put that for my We group. have the, um, this is just a, uh, a double. A double burner for um, oh, you know, like, sauces it's just a or double burner what have you. Like, built that, in. Like, that is awesome. It's so and then neat. down underneath is another, or I have some cabinetry down here. Um, this is a dry storage pantry. Ooh, What's nice about dry. this is that you can, um, you know, it's a sealed dry storage. So I keep all my spices down here. Yeah, I think those are um, and then this, of course, is my um, Big Joe 3. I mean, I have to say, you know, I started out with the Kamado Joe Classic, which, you know, I love. And, you know, when I, when we did the outdoor kitchen, I, I really wanted to step it up. And the, the Big Joe 3, it's just, you know, it's 24 inches. You know, it's just, it's so amazing. And it's probably my, you know, one of my favorite things to do is to grill with this. Because it just, there's just endless possibilities. You can go low and slow, you can go hot and fast. You know, it has this special slow roller, um, you know, so if you if you really want to smoke food over a long period of time, and there's just a lot of options um, with, with this. And then just moving over here, you know, this is a little bit outside the kitchen, but, you know, we have these, we have these bar stools so people can sit and eat. Like when I have my hungry children, they all sit, wait for the food. I serve the food, I just serve it up right here, kids start eating. Um, we have over here, we have our a nice comfy couch. We have a we have a fire pit table, which is nice just for sitting around the fire. Super impressive barbecue happy place. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like that is that is a party zone. Yeah, totally. It's like if you're hungry, you're going to Mohammed's. He has how many stools were in that area? Like eight hundred. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But that is a very functional yet gorgeous looking space. Mm -hmm. I like that there was like the the dry, was it called a dry pantry? Yeah. Like, and that could technically be four seasons. I'm jealous. That's I'm so envious of this space. It's like, and you can tell it, it was well thought out from the beginning. If you notice, he has tons of storage back there. And that is incredible. He has like unlimited possibilities with what he can cook. 
That grill was super impressive. Uh, both grills, the Kamado and the, that Napoleon. The lights. Can we talk about those lights? And I think it's super awesome that he went ahead and, in, and installed a sink out there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many barbecue happy places we've looked at where people have said, oh, if we could only have running water out here. And to think ahead when you're making things, you want to wash those hands. Gloves can only take you so far. Totally. So I think having a sink is super cool. Okay, I want to keep going. Let's, let's yeah, keep oh my going. goodness, I'm like, I'm What else can he show us? Yeah. I think we've seen it all. Before we had the barbecue happy place, I had a smaller Kamado and a Weber gas grill. And, you know, whenever we had the grill, it was a bit of a production. I had this red wagon that had all my grill tools <laughs> and the charcoal if I was using the Kamado. And, you know, I would have to wheel out the wagon from the garage. And then I would prep the food inside, bring it outside. And inevitably, you know, I would start grilling. It'd still be food and condiments and spices We've inside. All been there. And I would need help bringing it outside. And I was the one that had to do all this stuff <laughs> back and forth. A lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> I love that Lila needed credit for that. She was like, Dad, I'm the one that used to wheel that wagon out here for you. You know, the design of the outdoor kitchen, I knew what I wanted in terms of grills and, and layout. I put a lot of thought into the layout. So what I did is there's a popular online store where I ordered a lot of the, the grills and the, the cabinetry and they have a design service. But what I did is I gave them my design, they spec'd it out nice and then I was able to give that to my mason and he could cut the stone right down to the end so everything would fit. So that is super, super cool. He didn't just build it over the years, he had a plan, he had a big budget. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to assume a quite a big budget. It's going to be a biggie. Oof. I can already tell this is going to be a biggie. You're talking masons, electricians. That's going to be some coin. That, that adds up. <laughs> so what was the cost of the barbecue happy Here place? we go. Well, we did this as part of an overall backyard renovation, so it's hard to pinpoint the exact cost. I mean, I'll say the grills and cabinets cost about 15000 The countertop cost about 8000 for the bluestone countertop. Um, you know, the, the electrical and the plumbing was like a mid four figure amount for each. Um, you know, we had to run piping from inside the house. We had to run electrical all around the kitchen. We also put in a hot tub. So, you know, some of that cost was for that, but you know, that's a rough cost of it all just for the kitchen. A rough cost. Mom, it's like, it's so like 20 grand on this and then like I'm another sweating. 10 grand. I'm sweating, like just hearing this. I'm like, what? <laughs> so that that is quite a bit of coin to drop on your barbecue happy place, but it makes him happy. It gets the job done. That's a gorgeous space. That is well worth the price tag. And at the end of the day, this is where he spends time with his family. This is a permanent structure. I think that was well worth it. You go online, you look at a lot of the, you know, outdoor kitchen groups on Facebook. You know, you see people with, you know, with really, you know, elaborate kitchens and you have people with simple kitchens and just realize, you know, you do, you do you, you find out what works for you. And, you know, like if you look on, on some of these groups, like everybody has a Blackstone and a power burner, and they have all Lynx grills and they have this and that. They make it sound like if you don't have all of that, then the kitchen isn't good enough. And that's not true. You know, I mean, you can, you know, at our, at our beach place, we have a small little Weber and that's a barbecue happy place in the sand on the beach. You know, your barbecue happy place, as long as you're there and you have food and fire, it's your happy place. I think that's such an important message is to stop looking at what other people have, focus on what you want out of your barbecue happy place. Because for some people that might just mean one grill in their yard with a lawn chair where they can grill, chill and get away from it all. Exactly. Muhammad is literally sh sharing what this show is all about. It doesn't matter what your barbecue happy place has in it, what it looks like. Does it make you happy? Because that is the point of a barbecue happy place and that can be in a $50,000 barbecue happy place or a $5 barbecue happy place. Why is the barbecue happy place my favorite place to be? The best thing is that, you know, I can share the joy of grilling with my daughter Lila because, you know, once we started building this, she would always come out with me. She would, she would help me prep and then she would actually do a lot of the grilling. So, you know, it's just so rewarding to be able to be out here with Lila and, and do grilling. And so my, the reason why this is my favorite place to be is because, well, I can spend time with my dad and I love to, you know, sit by the grill and read a book while the plane is still there and it's really a lot of fun. 
<laughs> Seriously, that's like enough to bring a tear to your eye. Oh, that is so, so sweet. sweet. Are you so what? What? <laughs> Someone's swelling up. No, hopefully <laughs> they're just both so cute. They're the same reason for loving it. If you're new to our channel, then you might not know that we really love to get our groove on whenever we're gr we're grilling and chilling at our barbecue happy place. So we always ask every participant of barbecue happy place if they too will get their groove on in their barbecue happy place. Now you just met Mohammed and Lila. They seem like a fun bunch. You ain't designing a space that looks like that without being a fun bunch. <laughs> Do you think that they are going to, you know, give it a little shimmy shimmy shake? I'm I'm on the fence with this one. I can normally I think it could go either way. I feel like I can normally tell, but I don't know. I don't I'm like I don't know, I'm mystified by these two. Okay, let's let's see. <laughs> let's see if they do it. Right, yeah. Let's do it. Lila and Muhammad from now on. It's kind of like cross country skiing. Am I doing it? Am I doing it? No. <laughs> and you are, buddy? Lila, am I doing it? No, I'm putting too much shoulder in. You're doing it. You gotta do more hips. You yeah. Do more hips. It's a cross country ski skiing down a mountain. <laughs> I love your barbecue happy place. Me too. It's absolutely gorgeous. And if you want to see more barbecue happy places from around the world, then you have to check out Vince from the Lent Down Under. Uh, uh, oh, oh. <laughs> did you like that? Pretty good. Pretty good. I think you nailed it. <laughs> He's got an incredible barbecue happy place. Check it out. All right. Awesome job, buddy. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. That was 